Hi guys and girls, it's late at night, but uh, I was working on the SQ5 and uh, um, okay, let me start differently. Yesterday I made a video where I tried the Tube Stage Preamp Deep Deep Fake Deep State uh, Preamp model in the SQ5 and to to see if I can can up with a decent guitar tone. So let's say something distorted, is it possible? Uh, your guitar player's uh, guitar amp is burning down as usual and can you save the day with a tube stage preamp? And results were so-so. Um, um, you, you got something yeah, uh, similar to a guitar tone but if somebody would sell me a guitar amplifier that sounded like that, I would probably choose something else. So. To be honest, um, um, but not to say it would wouldn't say that it was okay. So um, okay, and what I tried now is to use the um, the insert, and uh, I've loaded um, a free um, a free uh, amp, you know, amp thingy uh, simulator. Thank you, an amp sim. Uh, from Androids, uh, this one is uh, the uh, fluff, uh, the free one, and uh, just to try it out, and I loaded it into um, the um, uh, what is it? Ah, Live Professor, of course, it's Live Professor. So uh, I have a host software, which I think I don't need, but I I have it here. It, which is um, Live Professor. And I then uh, tried all my Wave plugins and there's the guitar uh, uh, modeling things and I don't like that, personally. I, I like a lot of Wave stuff, I like the compressors, I like the EQs, I like the uh, R bass is great, um, but I actually don't like the guitar things. But this one, the free Amped Roots uh, fluff model is great. Yeah, it's, well it's, it's pretty it's a one-trick pony. You can do metal, you can do riffing, and uh, um, you'll see. Okay, and I've inserted this on channel one. And to go a little bit further, um, I'll show you some um, verse um, slash solo slash uh, chorus um, sounds I try to come up with on the Ellen and Heath. So this is what I'm going to show you now. The amp roots as an insert on the board and um, see you in a minute. Okay, first of all I'm gonna show you the setup on the board. Um, I have an SQ Waves card installed on the back of the board and um, I would show you how to set that up and uh, on a basic level in another video but for now um, stay with me. So, uh, what I've done, I've taken my guitar and plugged it into a uh, conventional DI box. This one, FDR60, as I said in the last video, it's nothing special. I just happen to have it here at home. So, that one goes uh, into the uh, local input one, as you can, oh, yeah, you can, I think you can see it. So, from there, as you can see, I have the insert activated, indicated by this little light and the green one over here as well. So, so means, that means the signal goes into local input one. Bear with me. Then it goes to, in my case, I've chosen IO port three to be the output. So that means it's now sending signal over my um, cut five cable to my uh, host software, in this case, um, live professor. I've tried with Logic and it's working and I've tried um, uh, um, something else I've forgotten and it's working. So uh, there I will or I have already inserted the amp roots um, guitar amp sim and then the output of uh, live professor is going to be the input in this case the return also through my I.O. port, which is the Waves card number three. Okay, so, and as you can see, I've um, I've panned it all the way um, to the, oh, it's not really, oh, how can I focus that one? Uh, uh, yeah, so, and I panned it all the way to the left side. So then I did set up a second channel 
this one and um, I made this one receive the input from my uh, host software as well. So this is also IO port 3. And this one I've panned all the way to the right side. And most of you will know what is happening now. Um, I have a delay inserted by something like 28 milliseconds and uh, that gives me a stereo spread or a fake stereo image when playing live through PA and um, which it will be my, yeah, let's say my chorus sound. And I have another a third one and on this one is also receiving from IO port 3 which is my um, waves card getting the sound from the amp roots amp simulator sim 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 and um, this one is in the middle so means if i'm on the um i will oh, show you Ugh. if i'm uh on let's say oh you can't see it so now you can see um if i'm in the verse i would have input three which is mono in the middle this is the smallest sound and if let's say the uh, chorus is starting. I can do this and I'm on the spread out stereo guitars or you could say uh, this is the normal ones uh, for the choruses and if it goes in the middle um, This would be my solo guitar or some things uh, you can be creative with that. Okay, let me think of yeah, that's it um, for the setup Okay, so Input one is where my guitar is coming in. Oh, I think, I, oh, let me try something. Setup, surface, touch screen. Ah, please stay that way. So, um, no, it's not better. Okay, um, local input one is my guitar that goes in. Then the insert is sending it out over the waves card. You could uh, as well take the USB port out and the USB return here. It's coming back. It has some um, EQing going on, some EQs going on, and the panorama. Then I've taken a channel number two. I've taken the input not from the back of the board. That would be just the unprocessed guitar, uh, but I've taken the return from my host software to be the input of that channel, delayed it uh, by 28 milliseconds, put it on the way to the right, and the third one, which is uh, also the return of my um, life professor, and this is in the middle. Whew. Okay, bear with me. Next part. All right, so these are my um, settings right now. My input, local channel, this is that one. It's receiving uh, on local input one. So this is the XLR on the back. And if we go to the... IO port, as you can see, my second and my third channel are getting back signal from, from IO port input socket number three. And um, they do this because, because I've set up the um, live professor to have the inputs and the outputs on three. I will explain you later why that is so. And I will try to record everything to, uh, my mix outputs, which uh, are main left right, to USB. So my outputs are mix outs one and two to USB. Okay, this is what I'm gonna try to do. All right, uh, let's come to the sounds. Um, I will start the record. I will record to my stereo outputs on the USB, and I've got an in my S. Q drive a SSD. So it should be now armed. It should be now a uh, record. Check it. Chip, chip. Okay. This is just for my synchronization. Um, as you can hear. Yeah, this is a guitar sound. And I think. I like it more than the tube stage guitar emulation thingy thing, but uh, it doesn't uh, uh, surprise me because amped 
roots is a guitar sim, the tube stage is not. So don't expect it to uh, be like a guitar amp. So, um, and now to my setting. Um, this is my mono guitar. And if I now switch... As you can hear... some kind of my solo sound or rhythm sound for the verse or sorry for for the uh, chorus so uh, the, the drive <laughs> Um, as you can hear, I added a little bit of um, uh, reverb and a little bit of delay, and I hope you like it. And um, if you want to, I can show you also the settings on um, my Amped Roots uh, Amp Sim. So, I've almost forgotten something really cool, um, because I have three channels and uh, now with a guitar, and as you can see, um, I have got the exact same EQ, um, and I was uh, fiddling around with uh, manually dialing in all the things. I uh, remembered, oh, wait a second, there is something like uh, ganging on this board. So, uh, uh, I was uh, making a gang group a few minutes ago, and as you can see, what is a gang group? A gang is uh, something where... Everybody's doing the same, basically. And you can determine which members of the gang you have. In my case, input one, two, three. And what they are doing at the same time. In my case, doing the same on the PEQ, doing the same on the compressor, and the same on the filter. And by that, I only have to adjust one EQ and have the changes on all three inputs. So if I go now to my channel and let's say... I'll move something like this and I go to my channel number two or my channel number one. As you can see, it's exactly the same. So if I were to um, say, no, don't do the PQ, when I do the same now and I change something like this, as you can see, um, the gang is not working together. So... Um, Ganging, very cool if you have multiple inputs and they uh, have to do the same at the same time. Go to setup. Uh, you can have eight gangs with up to, I think, 60 members, but it's everything in the manual. So basically, uh, put your inputs to a gang, um, tell them what you have to do together, and um, let's go back and see. Yes, 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 and it is working as it's supposed to work. Okay. Whew. All right. So as you can tell, maybe I'm a little bit uh, pleasantly surprised um, that it all works that way. Um, at the end, I um, when the camera was off, I even uh, took out the host software, the live professor, and just use, uh, use the amp roots as a standalone and I could dial in the latency to um, 32 samples, which is two or three milliseconds. And I can tell you, it's it's really, really good. It's not like the real end, but it's really close. And I think you can easily gig with that settings. And um, if you only need one setting, you're good to go. And nobody will ever notice that uh, you spilled your beer into your amp again. And um, you should have the gig for a few years or something. Um, but only if the sound guy saves you. That's important. Okay. Good night. Uh, good fight. Uh, enjoy the rest of the week. Uh, we have Sunday, Monday. Yeah, two, some more days. Um, enjoy the other videos on my channel. If you, if you enjoy them, please consider subscribing. It helps me a lot. If I ever will get the, you know, the mark where you get some 
some cents, some pennies. Um, give me a comment. What do you think? Uh, what MB Sims have you tried? Uh, have you tried the inserts? What can I show you with the inserts? Um, um, yeah, basically, that's it. Good night.